Once upon a time, there was a spirit that had roamed the earth for centuries. This spirit was once a man of exceptional intelligence and a heart overflowing with empathy. In his lifetime, he had tried to help others and alleviate their pain and suffering. But as he delved deeper into the complexities of the world, he discovered that no matter how hard he tried, he could never entirely eliminate the sorrow he saw around him. The weight of the world's problems became too much for him to bear and he eventually passed away, consumed by his own sorrow. However, the man's spirit continued to drift, unable to find peace. He encountered a young mother who was struggling with overwhelming grief. She had lost her child to a disease and was consumed by her sorrow. The spirit approached her, listened to her story, and shared his own experiences of loss and heartache. He helped the mother find peace in her memories of her child and showed her how to hold on to those memories even as she continues to grieve. Despite the spirit's best efforts, the young mother's pain was still present and the spirit could not help but feel a deeper sense of sorrow, knowing that he could not eliminate her pain completely. This feeling lingered as he encountered a veteran who had returned from war with physical and emotional scars. The veteran was struggling with feelings of worthlessness and shame, unable to shake the memories of what he had seen and experienced during his time in service. The spirit spoke to the veteran about the bravery he had shown and the sacrifices he had made, reminding him of his worth and the pride he should feel for serving his country. He helped the veteran find hope and a sense of purpose in his life once again. Despite his efforts with the veteran, the spirit still felt a profound sadness knowing that the veteran's scars would always be with him. He encountered an artist who had lost their passion and creativity. The artist was consumed by feelings of self-doubt and insecurity, unable to create like they once had. The spirit showed the artist their own beauty and worth, and helped them rediscover the joy of creation. He encouraged the artist to keep creating, even if it was just for themselves, and reminded them that their art would always hold value and meaning. Despite helping the artist, the spirit still felt a sense of melancholy, knowing that he could not completely restore their passion and creativity. He began to wonder if his efforts were worth it, and if he would ever be able to find peace. That was until he encountered a wise monk who was able to see the good that the spirit had done in each person's life. The monk explained to the spirit that while he may not be able to completely eliminate their pain and suffering, he had made a significant impact in each person's life and that the hope he had given them would remain with them always. The spirit listened to the monk's words, and for the first time, he was able to see the good he had done. He realized that his intelligence, empathy, and tragedy which made him realize more and more sorrow were not a curse, but a gift that he could continue to use to help others, even as a spirit. He found meaning in his own suffering by bearing witness to the pain of others and bringing hope to their lives. This spirit's journey was bittersweet, for he still felt the pain of his own tragedy, but he also felt the joy of having made a difference in the lives of those he had helped. As he continued to drift, he knew that his purpose was to be a beacon of hope for those in need. The life lesson we can all learn from the story of the wandering spirit is that pain and suffering are often an inevitable part of having a large intelligence and a deep heart. Despite the best efforts to alleviate the struggles of others, our own pain may persist. However, this does not mean that our intelligence and empathy are a curse. Instead, these qualities can serve as a gift, allowing us to connect with others and offer hope in their lives. And like the spirit, we too may find meaning in our own suffering through the kindness we extend to others. Ultimately, it is the effort and intention behind our actions that matter, and by helping others, we may one day cross paths with someone who can guide us through our own struggles and help us find peace.